dot and cross product of vectors. Now in this exercise, we are considering triple product where we have dot and cross product combination, right? It says consider non-zero, non-collinear vectors u, v and w in R3 or 3D space. Now it says is u cross v dot w equals to v cross u dot w. Part B is can u cross v dot w be equal to v cross u dot w. They are non-zero non-collinear vectors. Remember that. And C is what is geometric representation of u cross v dot w. Think and answer. It's a good time to review scalar triple product. This is also called scalar triple product. Now, I will answer from part C so that you have very clear understanding of what we are getting into. Now, what is geometric representation of u cross v times w? Now, think it like this. That we have two vectors u and v. Let's say this is u. And let's say this is vector v. Right? Then what is u cross v? u cross v will be a vector which will give us area of these two vectors. Correct? So that is like the base you can think. That is the area of u cross v. Magnitude we are talking about. Right. And let's consider now another vector w. And let's say the w vector is like this. Right? This is my vector w. Now if I do dot product with w, then what am I trying to do? Then I am actually multiplying this area with this height. Do you understand? Because the dot product is this component, height, correct, between these two vectors and this vector. So when I do, say, so basically is a component along u cross v. So let me just show you again here. Now, because we consider vector, u cross v, let's consider v again, right? When we say u cross v, then we are saying area of the base, right? So the area of the base is like I have shown you here. But it has, vector has a component, which is the vertical component, right? And that vertical component is the direction in which u cross v acts. u cross v is a vector whose magnitude is same as the base of this parallelogram and its direction is vertical, correct? Now, the component which is the height, now when I do, so this, so let us say this, let me draw here now. Okay, it's kind of complicated because we are trying to combine two things. So let's say this is u cross v direction and the magnitude is area of this. So the length of the arrow will really depend on u cross v but the direction of u cross v will be here. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, with the magnitude or length of this u cross v same as the area of this parallelogram. Right? I hope now it is clear. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now, what we are trying to do is dot product with this and this. That means we are doing dot product of w. So we have this as u and this is v for us and that is w, right? And now we are doing u cross v dot w. That means we are doing dot product with this, correct? So if I do dot product with this, then I am trying to find a component of this w along this direction, right? along this direction. Do you see that? So this is my component and that becomes actually you can say this is height of a parallel paper if I complete that. Do you see that? That is equal to this drawn in red. So so it makes so do you, do you understand? So area times height of parallel paper. What will that give you? So that will give us volume right of parallel paper right? We have the parallelogram here in the base and then we have a height to it which gets multiplied and we get parallelopiped. So volume of parallelopiped is given by this expression, just the magnitude, right? 
So now we will just complete this to show you how it works. So, so we'll just complete so we can have a parallel of pipette here. So we'll draw vectors parallel to this to complete our parallel of pipette. Trying to do a neat job here. Okay. So it's kind of not an easy diagram to make. Oh, I just missed it. By. Okay, imagine this is here, okay? Anyway, you got the idea, right? Let me just join it now. So, that scalar triple product magnitude gives you the volume of this parallel pipette. And I hope you understand how. U cross V gives me the area of the base. And when I dot it with W, then it gives me the height. And so base times height is the volume of parallel pipette. That is what it is. So I hope now it's absolutely clear and let me know if it is not. Okay. Now let's go to question number B here. Can u cross v dot w equals to v cross u dot w? Now, uh, well, what we are trying to do here is trying to find whether this is equal or not. Well, this is only if equal because we know u cross v and v cross w are not u. Now, we are not considering magnitudes. Imagine, these are not just the magnitudes. This was magnitude as a whole, right? Now, in this case, yes, they can be equal. They can be equal if we get 0 here and 0 there. Then they can be equal. Now, what is the condition that you get zeros of this product? Zeros of this product is if that W is also in the same plane. Do you understand? They are coplanar. If they are coplanar, then this area will be zero, right? Then only this is possible that they are equal. W is in the same plane, correct? Then it is equal. So we have a condition here that is they are coplanar. And that is extremely important property. If you want to check three vectors, whether they are coplanar or not, then this is the way to check it. Just do scalar triple product. Here, the order doesn't matter. You could do, you could even do V cross W and then dot it with U if they are coplanar and then you'll get the same product, right? So if they are coplanar, imagine W is in the same plane. In that case, whether you do U cross V or V cross you you will get and then dot with w since they are in the same plane they will be at right angles to u cross v or the cross product right so you'll get zero so that is possible when they are coplanar and the part is now it's obvious to you u cross v dot w equals to this is this true so the answer is no it is not true it may be true when they are coplanar but not otherwise right otherwise you will get an answer which will be negative, right? So, because the direction of u cross v and v cross u is opposite, correct? So, you'll get a different different answer in both the cases. Now, so that is why that is how we can think about them. That if we have u cross v dot w, which is not equal to zero, then they cannot be equal. But if scalar triple product is zero then then of course they are equal right so that is a condition when they are coplanar and i hope you understand the geometrical presentation of the scalar triple product also thank you